YouTube, what's going on? Got another video for you guys, I'm back at it again. This is a special one. I'm gonna be teaching you guys a little bit of sauce. So yes, we're gonna be making some guitar loops and like just some guitar samples. But the difference is this isn't gonna be like your normal video. This is, this is completely different. I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of sauce in this video. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So I got a few things pulled up already. I got this contact bank pulled up, Session Guitarist Deluxe, and then I got the BPM set to 123, and I already got a scale picked out. We got A sharp minor. All right, so the one of the first secrets I'm gonna point out here is you, you wanna find like really good, high quality guitar libraries in contact. That's gonna be like your number one thing if you wanna make like real sounding guitar loops. And for example, this one, this one sounds really good. So there's a, there's a bunch of different ways you can use this bank. So we're gonna start out with uh, right down here, it says muted. So this is gonna have like a, like a muted guitar string sound. I'll show you guys what it sounds like real quick. So it has that, it doesn't play the entire string, which would normally sound like this, which is an open string. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna find a melody, like a chord progression that I like with the muted guitar, and then we're gonna take the open guitar string and we're gonna actually make it a real chord progression with the full melody, and I'm gonna mix the two and just wait, it sounds insane. So first thing I'm gonna do is just find a chord progression. So all you wanna do here is use your ear, especially if you have these scales on, you really can't go wrong. Cool, so this is the chord progression I came up with. I'm gonna play it for you guys before I do anything else so you guys just get an idea of how it sounds. So you get the idea, uh, simple chord progression, but it sounds good. Simple is good. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna hit uh, Alt R on my keyboard brings up the randomizer and all I'm gonna do is turn the pattern part off and then we're gonna use the velocity. I'm gonna just bring it down a tiny bit. Make sure you have bipolar disabled. If it's enabled, some of the uh, velocities will go up instead of down. And I just personally don't want that, but do it to taste. <laughs> sounds so what I'm gonna do here is I don't want this played by the uh, plectrum I want to play with a like it, it, it I want to play by figure basically so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just track this to the first uh, track in my mixer and I'm gonna add uh, some reverb to this so I'm gonna add Bahala vintage verb I'm gonna go to this preset right here ambience ambiance I'm gonna turn the mix down a little bit. I'm gonna bring the decay up. All right, so you guys are getting the point. It sounds simple, but it's not full enough. So this is where the good part comes in. So I'm gonna clone this contact library, same exact thing, and I'm gonna change it to open string. I'm gonna go in here and just copy this exact chord progression. Only difference is I'm gonna actually like lengthen these notes just so the entire string is played.
here's another cool part. I'm gonna try and add like a counter melody. So clone the contact library again. And what I'm gonna do here is this library has a vibrato, uh, like plug, uh, not plug in, but uh, vibrato effect built into it. So I'm gonna bring it all the way up and uh, I'm gonna just mess with it. I'm gonna add some notes and just see if we get anything sounding cool. <laughs> too much but I maybe if it's, a, if it's a faster it might sound cooler something that sounds a little cooler. I'm also going to change this mixer track just so in the future when I go to mess with it a little bit, we can just add some cooler effects and it won't apply to every single guitar. So next up for this melody, I'm gonna add a bass. So I'm gonna go to this one shot kit that I found, um, Nico Exotic, and I'm gonna go to this bass right here. It is just called Fender. It's pretty much just a Fender bass. Um, I would use a VST for this, but I, what I wanna do is add some slides. Speaking of slides, I completely forgot something. So um, this contact bank, it has the ability to add slides to it. There's two notes right here. You can you could hear a slide up or a slide down. So I'm gonna have um, when the original chord progression goes to the lower chord progression, or when the first chord goes to the lower one, I'm gonna have a slide down, and then when it goes back up, I'm gonna have a slide up. So here I'll give you guys an example. So this is sliding up, this is sliding down. So you can just adjust this to your liking. How long this note is is basically how long the slide will be. So now let's get back to the bass. So like I said, I would use a VST, but um, I want to do slides. 
So you can uh, you could do VS you you could do slides with a VST, but it's just so much easier with a one shot. So I'm gonna drag it in, just cut itself, and for now I'm gonna just follow the bass. And then I'm going to hit Control L on my keyboard to make the notes touch. just for about half a step or two half steps and then, um, enable slide you double click hit this little button right here accept and now you will hear the bass slide down a little so I'm just have to slide down right there and then up right here shot I'm just gonna enable the envelope settings and just have it hold so it only plays for when the note is playing and then in, it uh, instantly releases all right let's mess with this counter melody a little bit so I'm gonna add uh, the hollow vintage verb and I'm gonna just bring the mix down keep the default template <laughs> Then I'm gonna add some delay, the hollow delay. I'm um, gonna just change it to note, and let's go with one fourth, bring the spread up a little bit in the mix down. And bring it down to one eighth. Cool, and then I'm gonna add an imager. You can do this with any imager you want. There's a, a fruity imager somewhere, I forget what it's called. I think it's a stereo shaper or something. I'm gonna be using ozone, better, higher quality one. So we'll just bring it up and this will just send the signal further out into the stereo field. Cool, so I like how that sounds. It's a little loud, I might turn it down a little bit. And then all I'm gonna do is send these two guitar tracks to a bus. You do this by holding down Command or Control on your keyboard, dragging past both tracks that you want. Then right click on another track and route to this track only. So what I'm gonna do on this track is just EQ the low end a little bit. Then I'm gonna add some highs to it as well, just a tiny bit, just to add a little spice to it. And then I'm gonna add this plugin by GHZ called Wolf Compressor. And all I'm gonna do here is just mess with this wow setting and probably bring it down a little bit. This just gives it a little pitch stable or unstable, I guess. And then I'm gonna mess with this compressor. split the channel, bring them out of the mixer, and we're gonna arrange this loop, and then I'm gonna export it as a wave. And then once I start doing the drums, I'm gonna work with the wave, just cause it's a little easier, less straining on the CPU, and it's just quicker in my opinion. So I'm gonna just duplicate this over a bunch by hitting Control B. I'm gonna remove the bass for the first eight bars, and the counter melody. And then what I'm gonna do is, do is take this first guitar, the muted string, and I'm gonna create an automation clip. And I'm gonna just have that, or my bad, not the muted guitar, the actual guitar. And I'll create an automation clip, and I'm gonna have that slowly come in. So it will sound like this. <laughs>
So perfect. So uh, let me explain this. First eight bars you got right here is just uh, intro, anything like that. And then you can use the second eight. It's also kind of intro build up to the hook or verse. And you got your verse right here, continue into the verse. And then I just have the two guitars right here played by themselves, just in case the person using the loop wants to mess around with it a little bit. So all I would do next is hit Control Shift S to save it. Name this like. Let's go with. Let's go with Contra. Contraband dash one two three. I do the BPM and then I do the uh, uh, the skeleton, which is. Do we do A sharp? major i believe and then i will save this to my loop folder which i'm already in hit control save and just hit save and just make sure i was in a sharp major so don't remember yeah so a sharp major perfect and then what we do is i hit alt r on my keyboard save it because the name's not good and we're going to do wave and mp3 and then i save tempo information save loop markers and save playlist makers this just makes it so when you drag the loop in, um, everything should be set already. But I'm pretty sure this only works with the wave format, not the MP3. So I'm gonna hit start and we should be good. All right, so that project is done. We can just hit save to make sure it's saved. And then I'm gonna open a new one. Now what we do is go to my loop kit, my loop folder. All you guys should have your own. Find that loop, which we call the contraband. And make sure we drag the wave format in just because it's high quality, better, and it'll be set already. So we gotta change the BPM to 123. And then what I'm gonna do here is um so this is the whole intro. Oops, so this is the whole intro, 16 bar intro. Kind of sucks, but hey, the uh artist or engineer can work with that and change it how he wants. But we already know what we're doing, so I'm gonna loop the first verse or hook whatever you want to call it i'm gonna drag in pattern one and we're gonna get started on the drums so the one thing i'm gonna do before i do anything though is make this part unique and i'm gonna track it out to mixer track two and have the one with the bass and mixer track one this is just so i can eq out the part that's gonna have an 808 and not ruin the actual bass so now we're gonna go to this track i'm gonna route it to a melody bus and just make sure it's eq'd for an 808. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the drums. So I'm gonna show you guys my uh, workflow for drums. Pretty simple, um, really quick. So you wanna go to your go-to kit. I got mine open right here. And basically what I do is I find a clap first. This one will work. And what I'm gonna do is I have this uh, MIDI pattern called default pattern. And I just drag it on top. And all this does is make claps for eight bars. So then I'm gonna go to my hi-hat and I'm gonna play the sample and just click a hi-hat to try and find one that sounds good with the sample. So I like this smear hi-hat for my drum kit, turn the volume up and then I'm gonna, I'm working on creating a MIDI kit for hi-hats and just everything else. I got a lot of stuff in the works right now. I'm working on a one-shot kit, another free loop kit for you guys. I'm working on this MIDI kit. So coming soon, give me next week and I should have one of those three out by then. But this is one of the MIDI kits or one of the hi-hat MIDIs that I'm gonna have out. <laughs> Second thought with the MIDI in, I don't like how this hi-hat sounds. Cool, so I like how that sounds a lot better. So usually next I go with a open head. I'm gonna be using this one from Rio. And I'm gonna just turn the out knob up a little bit, turn the volume down, and we're just gonna place it on the one and the four. One and three, actually. And then I'm um, gonna duplicate this over for eight bars. And 
and so uh, guitar beats like this, usually there's not too much crazy uh, percussion going on. So I might add a snare. So I'm gonna try and find one that works. But I mean, after that, we pretty much move on to the 808. You kind of let the guitar do all the work and the drums just carry the rest of the bounce. Let's see if we can find a snare to put on this. Super simple. I'm just, I'm gonna just duplicate that over. You could hit uh, Control K on your keyboard to go to the next pattern in your uh, this thing called channel rack, and then you hit uh, Control right arrow or left arrow. I mean, Control B and duplicates it over. So that's like a quick workflow tip for your drums when you want to duplicate over for eight bars. So now all we're gonna do is find an 808. I'm gonna be using this one called Uzi for my drum kit. Drag it in, it cut itself, and then I'ma just follow the uh, root note. So I know the exact root note because I made the sample, but for example, say you don't know the root note, all you gotta do is open up an app called Key Finder. You can find it on the internet for free, or you can get G-Tune, which is also free, which will just tell you the note that the sample is playing at that current time. But like I said, I already know this. So we ran into a little bit of an issue. The 808, basically the root note of the song is too high for the 808 to sound good. So this A sharp, I don't like how it sounds when it's up higher in octave, and I don't like how it sounds when it's at its lowest octave. So what I could do is actually go into the uh, sample project and just bring it down so we don't have any uh, issues with the bass or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure this is high enough to just pitch shift it down. So I'm gonna bring it down 300 cents. Uh, bring this down 300 as well. And then I go to the 808 and just hit shift down arrow three times and we should be good. Put something wrong there. Uh, three times, there we go. Cool, so I like how this sounds. It's just that 808 doesn't seem like it's cutting through. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a better one, but otherwise we're gonna have to do some EQ. <laughs> Alright, this one seems to work a little better. I'm just trying to edit it a tiny bit. I'm gonna boost it, bring the out knob up. So that sounded good. So all I'm gonna do now is select all these drums and route into a mixer track by hitting Control Shift L. Make sure your bass is centered. Bring this knob up right here. I'll just put it right in the middle of the stereo field. All I'm really gonna do for the mixing portion of this is pan the snares a little bit. Everything is pretty much mixed perfectly though. I'm gonna add an EQ. It's the fruity parametric EQ. Bring the highs up a tiny amount. 
I'm also gonna EQ this 808 and just bring out that like really high part just because I don't like how that sounds. Cool, so I mean this beat pretty much done. Arrangement is next, so I'm gonna split the channel. Just throw it in there like this, and basically all you want to do for your arrangement is make sure you have an intro, an opportunity for a hook and a verse, and just throw uh, some, take some drums in, take some drums out, super simple. But like I said, this part right here is the intro, a really long intro, then we'll have the main drop right here. Then we can do like a hook. You can do it all how you want, but I would do a verse right here, I mean hook right here, verse, verse, verse and then just repeat it over so basically what i'm gonna do is just duplicate the drums over i'm gonna have them cut out just for a tiny amount right here and then i'm gonna bring it back in but i'm gonna split it out right here and pause them for a bit or let's see is it like this <laughs> So I'm, I'm just going to trim this part off right here, which is just the uh, muted guitar playing by itself. And I'm just going to duplicate this over. Let's see where we at right here. We're at two. So that's perfect. So all I'm going to do is just have this work as an outro as well. But I'm going to split this and just have the bass part play. And for the outro, I'm going to right click on the master channel, create automation clip. Hold shift on my keyboard so this can't move up and down. And then just have it fade out. That is the entire beat and the entire video. So I just taught you guys how to make some cool guitar samples, some cool guitar beats. If you learned anything, I hope you did, because I really like this video. I like how the sample turned out and everything. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe. It helps me make more videos. It tells me what you guys want. Oh, also drop some comments and let me know what you want to see next. And if you'd rather have a loop kit, one shot kit, or a mini kit, let me know in the comments below. Check the community post, I'm always posting there. Follow me on Instagram. All my handles are at OKQ, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.